Good morning. Burr, 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 burr. It's Magical, Magical Theory, Theory Podcast, Podcast time. time. <laughs> Winston got his little apple TR. Yeah, Do you he know loves the word it. apple he now? He loves it. He loves apples. Yes, you're a good boy. You're a good boy, Winston. He loves it. I've seen so many puppies this week. I don't know so what many. it is. We've seen maybe, I don't know, because it was warming up and then it got colder and I feel like now it's warming up again. Like the springtime energy where people yeah, want to yeah, be yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah. It's real spring right now. And uh, yeah, we saw lots of puppies, didn't we? On our walks. Isn't it so fun? I saw a puppy with its head out of the car door yesterday and I was car just window? like- Car window? Yeah, the okay. window, the window. Well, I guess out the door, it makes sense. <laughs> Technically, yeah. The door wasn't open. No, window, no, window. no, no. And it was, it, it, I swear it was staring at me like we were at the light and it was just like looking at me like- Well, we also went to get a couple of beers, I think Friday- I don't even know, mm -hmm. but we went after work and it was uh, just our local place, like right up the road here. And there were oh, three. It was dachshunds. Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday. Yeah, there were three. Dachshunds. Everyone has a dachshund. Because they were. OK, all maybe those are the puppies I was well thinking of. Than we. Yes. <laughs> we saw three. One was off the leash and it was just like trotting yeah. along like a and little like tiny. an outdoor mall. So it's like. You know, yeah. It was there were a lot of cars and people and stuff, and it was just perfectly and, fine. And then Winston's just straight up Chihuahua. He's like, yeah. I don't know, he's Chihuahua's he's out. like eighty percent Chihuahua <laughs> in his soul. Yeah, <laughs> the way he his personality is is mostly Chihuahua. But we also, mm -hmm. since the last time we had an episode, because we didn't do one last Sunday, so Secrets of Dumbledore. We didn't talk about it i guess no, yeah because we didn't so, do an episode last week yes basically i've been avoiding commenting on it you uh, had for this no we're just about it like people mm -hmm. will ask like oh how was it or should i go see it or what did you think and i'm like i don't know i literally turned off my my uh video camera on a zoom meeting when somebody asked me about it because i was like i don't i don't want to be swaying anyone's decision oh wow it was enjoyable but i also feel like weird being someone who like is really deep into the harry potter wizarding world yeah. mm -hmm. to comment on anything because yeah. i i don't want that authority or anything like that you know especially if people like feel yeah. differently you know yeah agreed <laughs> You know, anytime you're talking about a series, and yeah. now this is the second series of movies in the same mm -hmm. universe, like it just it becomes harder and harder to tell stories that stand alone. Yeah, and so this it's was hard true for people who I think are for the last movie as well to just be like, I can't keep track of actually. Any of this. I feel similarly with um the newest, latest uh, Star Wars last, I guess trilogy. Where especially like, okay, the series was designed or like initially scoped out to be five movies, which is a the lot of movies. One. The Fantastic Beast yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was switching back and forth in my mind. And and so like the middle movies are gonna like it's not gonna resolve. Like it's a little but because it wasn't already a book series with this like you know, well fleshed out like uh, design where each book stands alone as its own right. story and it's yes. part of this larger arc because it wasn't that first. Yes. It's challenging. Yes, um, it is. Yes. So I will say that um, overall it um, there there was a lot to be discussed afterwards. So that's that's good. That's that's a positive I enjoyed thing. Myself. Um, Which isn't surprising. It's similar to what you're saying. It's like, yes, of course I enjoyed myself. Because we're also well, not the type of hardcore fans that are like, oh, I needed it to be this way. Like I can yeah, be disappointed yeah, yeah. with certain things and then enjoy certain things. But overall, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, I enjoyed myself. I, I think that it's interesting because I also feel like with, so going back to the Star Wars situation yeah, yeah, yeah. like i'm not a hardcore star wars fan right 
but I feel differently about the wizarding world because we literally theorize about how magic works and like different things. Yeah, we haven't and theorized so, about the force, should we? I no, what I'm saying is like I feel like perhaps that's that that I am leaning more toward critical because I'm like so invested in the I like see. little details of like it has to be it has to make sense because otherwise what's the especially for a prequel like I'm just like well if this is true back in the 1800s yeah, sure, yes. well, or we're 1900s we're gonna have that problem with Hogwarts I know, Legacy I know. too yeah it it'll be fine <clears throat> the it'll thing fine. about Hogwarts Legacy that's maybe a little different is I think as somebody who games a lot as well. I'm more open to just like, just break the canon if you need to. Like, yeah, it, it I think doesn't... what's hard is that, like, it's a game. It needs to be fun. Of course, across hundreds of years, the world is going to change. But I think what's hard about it is that we don't have like the context or like the yeah. depth of like, oh, these are, this is why this spell doesn't exist anymore or well, whatever, I mean, you know? Kind of stranger things than that but we we talked mm -hmm. about the like wands yeah so like if you're gonna make an rpg i think you have to be able to upgrade equipment it seems like we're going to be able to but then that's that's not canon it's not like harry's yeah. like let me empower my wand let me enchant I, I think this you could armor <laughs> go canon adjacent to being like oh well the wand learns with the wizard and stuff like that but, yeah but to actually like see numbers or see effects well and hogwarts legacy is, is gonna be like okay so wizards unite was what it was but it wasn't an rpg so hogwarts legacy is gonna be basically the first rpg like the first game that isn't like a retelling of the harry potter stories yeah, that's right the yeah. other games that the other mobile games have have existed but um in like more of a modern wizarding world but yep. those are you have way less agency as a player and so yeah i i i think that i mean for sure overall like i'm going to enjoy that because i like playing games and I don't really care about that, but for for mo I don't know. There's something in my mind. There's a, this is turning into a Secrets of Dumbledore like vague review. For some reason, um, I like the movie, like the cinematic universe of the Wizarding World, if you will, is like it has a different vibe for me. Like I have a different expectation for it for some reason. The, the books and yeah, and I I think it's also kind of contextualized with like big big movies as well and like how media seems to be and we've had previous discussions about you know that in general but yeah go see it if you were planning to go see it if you were planning to hold out and you have hbo max oh, man, go see it really on hbo max <laughs> just on the fence <laughs> In, in the it's, sense of like people should just make their own decision yeah i i don't want to be responsible is basically my my cop out <laughs> well you are i'm I, holding you personally responsible yeah, you bought my tickets so. i did buy our tickets <laughs> and i made sure to not get 4d whatever yes 30 dollar like yeah. seats which i was like why is it 30 dollars anyway because I, I want water sprayed on my face <laughs> blood i mean that's how some of the rides are at universal yes i remember them well yes mm -hmm. All right, oh, when he when he is like, let's get started let's get with this it. episode. <laughs> One's ready. Turn to page four hundred seventy nine. The second task. Today's lesson is called moral fiber. Uh huh. Because why wouldn't it be? The chapter begins with Harry admitting to Ron and Hermione he has not prepared for the second task, and recounting the events of the night with Moody and Snape. Harry sends a note to Sirius telling him of the peculiarities, and Sirius responds back asking for the date of their next Hogsmeade trip. The days until the second task fly by, and Harry is studying the night before the task with Hermione and Ron, until Fred and George gather them to see McGonagall. Harry falls asleep while searching for an answer, and is awoken by Dobby, who excitedly gives Harry gillyweed to eat before going underwater. Dobby had apparently overheard Moody and McGonagall talking about the task. Harry sprints to the task, arriving just in time, he jumps into the water, eats the gillyweed, and sprouts gills and flippers. He races around the Black Lake, escaping the Grindylows, before Myrtle points him toward the merfolk. 
They watch him carefully, refusing to help Harry release the unconscious and tethered Ron, Hermione, Cho, and Fleur's sister. Harry uses a rock to release Ron, but when he moves toward Hermione's rope, the merfolk hold him back. Cedric arrives and uses a knife to free Cho, and a half-shark, half-crumb releases Hermione using Harry's rock, but there is no sign of Fleur. Harry threatens the merfolk with his wand, frees Gabrielle, and swims to the surface. The judges award him second place and 45 points for moral fiber. You did it, Harry. Um, as you were reading this, the I was uh, revisiting like what I read this morning, and mm-hmm. um, Harry's uh, inner thoughts about procrastination are were like super relatable. Yeah. It's just yeah. like, oh, I still have a week. Oh, I still have five days. Yeah. Oh, I still have three. Kids. I also oh, like the thing days. where he he self criticizes for. Uh, any time he wasn't paying attention in class that some, that a professor might have talked about something that would help him. And he's like, I can't believe it. The secret clue. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, does it change his behavior later on? No. 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 So, oh, well. But that's the joy. <laughs> okay. The chapter starts with, uh, so we actually, speaking of Hogwarts Legacy, we had a 60 Spells video that we put out a couple of weeks ago. I don't think it was last week. I think it was two weeks ago. Um and so there were several mentions of spells in this chapter, but we start off with the banishing charm, which is Depulso. Mm, and yeah. I was just laughing to myself, visualizing a little Flitwick being tossed <laughs> across the room. By just, Neville. Just by Neville. Be like, oh, because so the thing with Depulso, so the, it's it's kind of like the contrast of the summoning charm, but with right. the summoning charm with Akio, you can summon from anywhere like you don't need to be in line of sight or in a directional whatever with the banishing charm it is based on the motion so that's why the accuracy of the where the wand is pointing is important and why he kept getting tossed aside which i found very very funny um just classes classes are fun Classes are fun. I mean, they even <laughs> they said, said that, that yeah. it was like a good time. No, to... They were everyone's having like yeah. a great time. Yeah. So it'd it was... be a great spell. I mean, super fun. <laughs> you have to wonder why, like the halls of the school are not just pure chaos. After you've learned the spell, you just do it to your buddy. Yeah, it's funny because like, so I actually wrote some stuff about like. And we've talked about Hogwarts as a an educational institution in many, 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 many episodes. Um, but that, you know, the idea of a magic school, I mean, there are there are elements of like, you know, this ma- this secret magical world, and that's like intriguing. But just how boring Hogwarts actually is in the sense of like or in the sense of how closely it mirrors calm. Um, actual school. Yeah. <laughs> actual schooling institutions where it's like, yeah, they are this magical society, but even still, the inclination is to make similar choices for how to organize a an education for wizarding students. And uh, so the thing that I wrote was that what's funny to me is that Hogwarts could have some sort of problem-based or case-based education or curriculum. Like what Harry, Ron, and Hermione do for these tasks. I mean, this is the second time this has happened, but the second task, they're like trying to be like, oh, well, you could use this or you could do that. And it's all like application based. So you have, of course, the practice skills and the awareness of like different spells. So they have at least one problem based lesson that that comes to my mind. Okay. You ready for it? Yep. Lockhart just (laughs) unleashing the pixies. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, that was just like lazy yeah. <laughs> instruction. No, I know, but it was great. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was like problem solving. And then, ev- but, but that just may help clarify what you mean. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So it's like instead of learning a, so you how to a make a specific potion, right? You might be like, hey, and you need to cure somebody of this. Yeah. Figure it out. It's not that you have to completely get rid of that other thing. Right. It's that you, Hogwarts could have, it doesn't have to be, you know, very life or death oriented like the Triwizard Tournament, but they could still have like quarterly major problems to, um, or e- it's not even necessarily a problem. It's like a kind of a puzzle mm-hmm. uh, to figure out of like, okay, this is the situation. It's ridiculous, but like, what is it that you would do? Mm-hmm. It makes me wonder actually in professional training, like 
For someone who graduates from Hogwarts and is like, I want to be an Auror, what is that training process like? Like what – probably an apprentice model, but like, you know, there's – I have like I have quite I find it funny because like clearly you can do this and perhaps they think oh like not all students can be up to the task if you will to to do this sort of thing but that's why mm -hmm. you don't individually assess you have like more of a like collaborative sort yeah. of sorry I'm I going off on like Hogwarts you could be different and it would be it would Well be you said something really useful for people to be thinking about which is that problem based classroom experiences don't it doesn't have to only be that you don't have to choose one or the other mm -hmm. it's never been the case true in hogwarts true in life yeah um okay so then what what's the next spell that we see i guess probably later the bubblehead charm uh before that we see son sonorous sonorous that's right i don't remember where the emphasis is uh which has a different spell so the uh I'm going to say it as sonorous. <laughs> uh, the spelling in the Hogwarts Legacy gameplay trailer is the, is the one with... The U.S. Oh, O-U-S, yeah. So there's a difference. There's two different spells, which I don't know why, but mm. one is just the amplifying charm. And so the one that's used here is like putting the wand to like mm. amplify. And then the other... Is the other actually can be used in combat, which I thought was interesting because there are a lot of spells on the wall that could be used for combat, even though like it, based on what we've seen in the Harry Potter stories, like I we don't I guess we don't see as much combat except for like in the big battles that we mm. see at the end. But you could use like you know the force of sound to like as a a, a way to defend yourself or something. Um, interesting. What else did we have? Uh, Relatio. Um, oh, I'm skipping over some stuff because uh, I do I do want to back up first. So little Dobby, little Dobby Robert. coming in with Ron is Wheezy. <laughs> wheezy, yeah. No, it's the best. Ron's going to start. Harry's Wheezy. Rapping. No, just kidding. You're yeah. Wheezy. He, well, because it sounds so cute when he puts it that Along way. Like, oh, you're a little. <laughs> Isn't there a toy in Toy Story that's called Wheezy? Or am I making that up? It's like the one of those squeaky toys. Oh where boy, in the first the one, the penguin is in his I name. Think. Oh, maybe not. I Th don't that's know. That's a later one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So Dobby comes through and saves the day. Oh, <laughs> and then gives him the gillyweed and just like shove this Great in your mouth. Blue once again mm. of like just slipping it in because it's like, where does this solution come from? What Do Dobby just pops in like what a lucky scenario until you have the one line of dobby being like oh i overheard yeah moody McGonagall, and McGonagall. yeah mcgonagall and moody and it's like ah on the reread you realize that that conversation yeah. is purposefully had in front of dobby well yeah also well <laughs> I'm so wow. mean to Percy when I read, like, I'll be reading silently next to Jeff and I'll, every time Percy pops up in the book, I'm just like, Percy, nobody invited no, he, you. He's a real pill to swallow for <laughs> sure. It's, it's I'm a so lot. mean to him. Um, okay. So, Relatio, back to the spells. Um, yes, yes. Against in, the, in the lake. The things. The, in the, the lake. Yeah. Grindelwald. So, he uses, he uses it on them to, it's releasing the grip is what the spell does. The target releases their grip. Um, we also see in the lake moaning Myrtle, mm. who I imagine got flushed on purpose. <laughs> she she could just fly. Okay, but she said last time there was that one line where she was like, "Oh, sometimes I go into the lake because I like a student doesn't realize and they flush." Which I'm like, wait, how how does that work? I are think you, she's just are you hovering over people in the toilet? Teller. Or <laughs> so I feel like it's not like the water would just move right through her. It's that she chooses to use that as an excuse to. I mean, how boring her life must her, be. Yeah, her life her must be so boring because she just is Ghost doomed. Life. Not only is she doomed to this existence, <clears throat> but she's doomed to this geographic location of Hogwarts because hey, it could be worse. She got a restraining <laughs> order because she was yeah haunting people. <laughs> right, oh my god! Yeah, uh, but. The thing also, I mean, I mentioned this, I don't know, last chapter, the chapter before. How is it that not a single adult was like, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't put actual students at the bottom of the Black Lake guarded by merfolk. 
Not a single per- – like, okay, Fred said – I think it was Fred. It might have been George, but I think it was Fred – said that McGonagall wanted to see Ron and Hermione yes. and that she seemed, like, grim. Mm. But, like, how are y'all letting this happen? Yeah. I don't – and the thing with Ron, who was just like, oh, Dumbledore never would have let something happen. But I'm also kind of – I'm, like, I'm still in Harry's, like, both Harry and Fleur's, like, reaction – where yeah. it's like, I don't know, like this seems very, the whole situation, this whole tournament is very suspicious. Oh, it's sus central. <laughs> and sus central you're station. You're just going to be trusting at this point? No, I don't, I don't think so. One of the judges hasn't been here for like three months. <laughs> I, Hello? I don't know. I don't hello? know. Hello? I don't know. Everything about this is <laughs> I said is hello terrible. when he's like Yeah, what? he's like, what? <laughs> um I was looking into mer people mm. once again because I was thinking about uh related to like, oh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna take something from the champions. Oh, and it's gonna be a human person. Oh, we should talk to the merfolk and put them down there to it's guard so it. Oh aggressive. <laughs> what? It's so aggressive. But otherwise, Harry wouldn't have shown any moral fiber if it was just some <laughs> yes, immaterial it's all, object. It's all part of it. Well, I was wondering how the conversation went. Was what it... if they stole? Sorry. No, it's okay. What if they stole the the best magical item that each His of them had? Stick. So they stole Harry's invisibility cloak and he couldn't oh. see it and it was lost forever. Deathly Hallows, game over, Voldemort wins. Wow. Okay. Good. See? So a good thing they stole people. <laughs> No, they could have taken the broomstick. Oh, okay. There are other solutions in between those two. I'm sure Harry has some. I'm sure they each have some. Well, I don't know. No, but... Well, we've even... I think in the past even talked about, like, what What about just, like, a simulacrum? Why does it have to be the actual Look, person? I don't know. They have magic and they chose violence, I guess. <laughs> but that's how it yeah, goes. I encourage violence. So I was imagining, like, this conversation was, like, Hey, Mer peeps. Um, so I know in the past that we declined your status as beings because you couldn't speak anything but mermish above water. Our morality <laughs> and sensibility is stronger than yours. By the way, can you, you mind keeping an eye on? Can you help us with this task? <laughs> yeah, right. Because like, what is what is their goal? Or unconscious is and to bound. make sure their goal. Their role is to sorry, not goal. Their role is to make sure they don't save the other people <laughs> what is what is the point of this i don't know. i have many questions so but in in real life uh mer people and i think i we talked about this before it's in the intro to fantastic beast and where to find them mer people and centaurs and i forget there's probably others um decline well them to specifically declined being status. So actually it was true that the original definition of being magical being is um someone who could understand I, there was something related to language where they could understand each other to communicate and muggles. And 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 there I think there's probably some other That's, qualification. Like you were you have like some sort of I don't know. I'm recognized not recognized magic. I could have I something. could have pulled back the book and read out the sh the passage, but I chose not to. And uh, then later on, oh, so initially centaurs were protesting because the mer people were not included because they could not they could only speak mermish above water. And so then, so they protested, oh. and then later the mer people were. Um, basically invited to be part of the this like council and like representation wise like you know government and <laughs> that sort of stuff um and Alderman. with with translators and so we see that Dumbledore clearly speaks mermish and i'm sure what's his face who speaks 200 Crouch. languages crouch can also speak it mm -hmm. but not um, percy percy is just there Got him. he's just there Got her. But they they ended up declining because well yeah. there were other things related so like centaurs didn't want to be classified as the same in the same classification as vampires and hags who are also beings it's just it, it, there's a lot there's, there's a, lot a lot of historical stuff there it seems though that Dumbledore 
would be a good have good relationships with the at least the people who live right mermaids, there. Mermaids, right? Yeah. yeah, right there. Yeah. Well, I think we know and with centaurs because in the fifth book, as a look ahead, after Umbridge gets taken by the centaurs, when Dumbledore. Dumbledore apparently just walks into the forest and then mm-hmm. comes back with her. Mm-hmm. So obviously, like, yeah, he's yeah, yeah. respected by so those folks, too. Maybe Ron was right, and maybe nothing bad would have happened. But I don't trust these people who are running this tournament. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They just doubt. Well, Harry Potter died today <laughs> after drowning. Our, our ongoing joke is, like, every time that Harry could have died, like, we just, like, say, what, what is that even from? Did we just make it up? Yeah, uh, yeah. It just started happening. <laughs> Maybe it was related to like Cursed Child of like all the different ways. Uh, no, I think I it was. Think so. No, it was uh, Wizards Unite. It's not something about that. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, okay. I I know I've said this before, but the day that Harry Potter actually dies, I I don't. What's gonna happen? Do you he think will we'll have pass a new? Invisibility. Oh, I guess he does have a family. I was going to say, do you think that there is going to be another chosen one? For what curse? I don't know. Probably some other There's dark an wizard cycle that comes of dark up. Wizards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, I also wanted to note that the Mer people even called the kids hostage. Like yeah, they, I know. so oh, I like thought, this whole situation is going. You back can only to take that. your hostage no, or whatever. Like, like it's. it's but then it's all like a game because then when they're above water, like they're all smiling at him or whatever. Mm-hmm. That they're like posing as these threatening creatures, right? They're not actually even threatening. Yeah. I don't know. No, I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. It, it, it's the least satisfying of the uh, tasks, mm-hmm. I think. But I just have always loved the outstanding moral fiber concept it just cracks me up well what's great is that after immediately after oh you think he's making fun of him i thought that yes oh yes okay i thought that ron was going from like oh harry you idiot why did you save fleur's sister to like see harry you weren't being an idiot you just have moral five yeah reading it in that tone is yeah yeah you idiot (laughs) (laughs) oh my goodness yeah, I did play this um, scene in the Lego Harry Potter games yes. recently. Yes, it was a lot of fun because I, I, well, I was determined to completionist. Like, let me destroy all of the little bits, and then I have like little Shark Crumb like wandering around and stuff. Did you attack him? I don't think so. Okay, Good I don't think you. I think Good that moral fiber. The, actually, so sometimes I accidentally hit, hit people. Like I hit Cedric, I think a couple times. Yeah, what can you do? I often hit Hermione in that game. She's just they, like they just follow you around, and so they have to they they are going to be in the fire line. Yeah, just <laughs> ancillary mm-hmm. can't help it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The whole, I mean, yeah, the actual scene with the rock and Cedric talking to Harry because you can speak from the bubblehead charm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't write that one down cuz I was just like, oh, this is a charm. <laughs> I find it somewhat inter- somewhat disheartening on their research thing cuz they were like, oh yeah, let's go to charms to solve this. We're going to have to go to charms and they didn't come across the bubblehead charm. Well, they must be at such a disadvantage we'll just not go ask having the librarian. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. It's uh yeah, that's true. Hey, give me a book on like underwater charms. It would probably be the first one. Doesn't seem like uh, Madame Pince wants to talk to anyone. No, no, she, she hates just her wants job. to <laughs> shush people all day <laughs> and like catch people in the restricted section. The Pincinator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. I think it would be fun if they did. If Hogwarts restructured, we should we should send a note to. Headmistress McGonagall and be like, "Hey, Minerves, <laughs> you should have mini um, a quarterly, I don't know, project or something." Ooh, yes, like an internal yeah Triwizard tournament. Yeah, I mean they don't have to make it competitive. I guess Tri- that's the hey, only way to do it. That's kind of funny. Of course, the Triwizard 
tournament tasks mm-hmm. are like problem based experiences, right? You just you have to get uh, the I oh the fact yeah. that they keep it secret is bizarre, but especially the first one. At least the second one, it was like, hey, we give you this clue. The first one, it was just like, suppose the supp- what if they all but if Wait, they, they all have a clue followed for the, the third rules one too or no? I can't remember. I feel like in the movie at least Dumbledore's like no secrets this time it's just difficult i don't know i wonder okay ooh. i think it's just hey there's there's a lot of obstacles in this good luck cuz it is generally i think it's very different in the book than the movie mm-hmm. because it's not a all psychological it's like there's actually stuff in there i was Boggarts wondering if um okay so try wizard obviously is it, well, it doesn't seem like it's related, at least overtly, to the founders. But I was thinking about like, oh, what if the first one is supposed to measure your bravery or your like quick Hello. wittedness or something like that? Your but second, only three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your second one is more of your like Ravenclaw ish puzzle solving. Although I don't know what the third one would be because that that seems very similar. Cunning. Slytherin. I was going to say, like, I was trying to think of a way to, like, exclude Slytherin because that would make it more like, oh, hey, this is they, comedic. They, they came up with it after they ousted him uh-huh. from the. <laughs> maybe it's maybe each school sets one task. Mm. Maybe it's something like the Triforce in Zelda. Oh, now we're in. Aren't there? It. Aren't there? Um... Wisdom power curve. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Doesn't quite fit still because I'm no, like, no, <laughs> like I'm still yeah. thinking of like the the first one and the third yeah, which one. Which one like, is wisdom? I'm I'm I keep saying like the second one is wisdom because they it's got courage, a clue. courage, courage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Oh my goodness. Well, that's that's all that I had. Anything? Yeah, it was a long chapter, but not that much. All happened. these chapters are thirty pages long. Yeah, it was basically <laughs> like search for solution, don't find it, gillyweed, and then the actual task. Mm-hmm. Which often it's hard to talk about the action based chapters because the action it speaks for itself. It's hard to like we just recap it. It's like oh the Grindylos and then the Myrtle and then the Merfolk and then one of the Merfolk has a garden. That's kind of nice. And that's about it. <laughs> Moral fiber. Good job, Harry. You did it. Moral fiber. Okay. All right. Well. Until next time. One. What's ready? Right. <laughs>